Hey, it's Rich and Taylor with Town Wine Spirits. Um, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our videos so far. They've been a lot of fun to uh, make. If you could do, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, please hit the it's subscribe button. It's over here. We'd love Somewhere on the bottom yeah. here, hit the subscribe button. Absolutely. We'd love you to join us every week to see what we have coming out um, and watch the videos. Yeah, so uh, yeah. this week we got uh, some bourbon to talk about, but before we talk about the bourbon, um, one of our customers, our RBB loyalist, uh, um, Rich Pace, dropped off a bottle of Corazon tequila that was finished in a um, Weller barrel, um, which we actually have a pick coming from these guys, which is gonna be more like in uh, probably 2022, but he figured he'd give us a shot to taste it. That's right. So let's do it. Well, we, so have, this, an, we have an Anejo We have an Anejo. Yeah. This is so a repo. This is, yep. It's got that extra time, of course, for our customers to... So we uh, really appreciate it, Rich. Thank you very much. And uh, let's give it a shot. Let's see. Mm. Glasses are good, by the way. These, these are it good. really, it's amazing. I just wanted to point that out. Delicious, though. This, the nose is so good. I love the creaminess, the texture. It's really good. Oh, good pepper. Yeah, it's fun. Really yeah, nice. cool. All right. All right. All right, moving on. So, now, we're here to talk about barrel. 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 Just barrels in general? No, or? no, it's very specific. Um, oh, barrel. Barrel, barrel craft spirits. Yep. Um, so we've got two brand new um, uh, expressions from them in stock. It's going to be our email feature tomorrow. Um, so we've got their Batch 29 and their Armida, which is a wild, wild, crazy bourbon that I've never thought I'd ever be tasting. It is kind of funny to think, though. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> we yeah, so we, <laughs> we, we opened this on um, Tuesday. Earlier in the week, yes. Earlier in the week, and it's almost half gone, which tells you something for sure. It seems like many people have decided to taste this yeah as well yeah and we think actually it's pretty wild it's pretty crazy we think you guys should all um experience it because it is it's fascinating whiskey yes but we're gonna get to that second we're gonna start with the batch 29 great let's go so batch 29 is a classic blend from um from barrel so it's got bar uh, whiskey coming from kentucky indiana and tennessee a uh, wide range of ages in the bourbons are going into it. There's stuff up to 14, 16 years old. Correct. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's very traditional sort of um, blend in that sense. There's no crazy cast finishing or anything. And we just had a ghost enter the studio, um, so please ignore the ghost. Um, the door. We will opening. as well. Yeah. All right. Anyways, back to this. Oh, you want to know what we should have done? I And we didn't think about it, which is... So we tasted this already and we thought it was really cool, but water makes a huge difference on, oh, on this did. spirit itself. And we don't actually have the water, um, but that's okay. We can- uh, Pretend? We can pretend. Yeah, we'll get a little, <laughs> a little pretend squid. Yeah. And, oh, there it is. So it's a very classic bourbon nose. Um, it's very sort of rich, so, it's very dense. Yeah, lots of uh, the, the wood, toffee, a little bit of- uh... Yeah, you're getting, like, you're getting vanilla, you're getting spice, yeah. you're getting like all, sort of all the real classic. There's a little orange marmalade thing going on. There's a little fruitiness. I, 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 so, what do you think? Okay, the nose is, um, you're right, classic, but nice, has some really good um, note, like wood, vanilla, the cocoa. Yeah, sort of the that. classic, sort of classic bourbon flavors. It's, um, it's, I remember with this, and it was slightly hot, um, a little bit on the... It's definitely cast strength. Yeah. There's so, no doubt. It's a so, hundred and... Oh, that's, yeah, I don't want to say... Hot. Hot. No, 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 it's not hot. Word. I can't just say yeah. that. But I do think if you're drinking this, it's, it's cast strength. That's yeah. where the water kind of came in to help us. Yeah. I think, I think, it, I think the water, up. when we added the water, it just, it, it really opened the whiskey up. Um, it allowed sort of a lot of that texture to yep. sort of emerge. Um, and it's sort of, I don't want to say it tamed the alcohol. It's a, it's almost 60% alcohol. So it's not, it's not really. No, it but, opened it up though. Yeah, I felt it, it definitely, definitely opened up. Yep. Uh, from 100%. the nose and from the body of the drinking, definitely. And I'm usually not, I'm, I'm usually not a proponent of adding water. So, but I think in this case, um, it, it really, helped. it really helps. Definitely. It really helps the whiskey. So. But yeah, this is, this is tasty. So this is regularly $89.99. It's going to be on sale at uh, $79.99. For our email feature, yeah. So, um, mm. considering how old some of the bourbons are in here, that's it's actually cool. it's actually a really good deal. Yeah, that's excellent. Mm. All right, cool. This so, is, uh, no, yeah. I, this is this is the interesting one here. Because oh, it, this it's is, interesting. Uh, so the beauty here, it is finished in uh, three casks. It's Correct. The 
pear brandy. Yep. Um, the Jamaican uh, rum. Rum, and then the um, Amaro, Amaro cask. cask Sicilian Amaro. Amaro cask. So I, I think when we were originally looking at this, we were all kind of excited. I'm a big fan of Amaro. I love that herbal texture. Yeah, that, like the, the, the bitter out of root it. kind of thing, and like and yeah. And it's amazing how that did not. No, I, show I, I was. I thought that amazing. would be the dominant wow. thing, but man, that that pear brandy kind of <sighs> took over. Yeah. So it's kind of an interesting uh, combination. It is so different. Oh my god! Than that one. It's it, it's almost like they're complete. They're not even like made by the same people. Yeah. They're so so different. Um, I, I think the two things is the pear and also the rum really is coming through yeah, right it now. It does. Um, it has so much more floral no or uh, fruit notes. Coming fruit, across. tropical oh, fruits, oh, yeah. all a whole range of fruits. Um, now, if you read their tasting descriptions, which will be in our email, they are <laughs> they're as wild as the bourbon is. It is. Um, uh, we were. Blown away mm. by their ability to describe this with things that we've almost never heard of it in uh, our lives. It's so, very descriptive. It's very descriptive. Almost thesaurus-esque. Like, they're just... I, I don't know. It was crazy. <laughs> There's just so much stuff going on. I, I, I guess we're just not quite... No, no, no. We, no, no, no. Stop. We're... We're... We're professional. We're professionals. <laughs> so, professional right. drinkers. Professional drinkers we yes, are, indeed. You. Yes, uh, thank you. Okay, well, we all got to start somewhere, you know? Not necessarily linguists. I did that study I poetry in college, okay. you know, but that's more writing than, uh, you know. All right, way more fruit. Like the, it's, the pear is, it's the I don't pear want to say just, overtakes over, but it's The pear, there's. the toffee, the, you know, all those things, it, there's the toffee to me is, is the secondary component that really comes through. You had mentioned banana bread. Oh, that's what it is. Oh my God. Yeah. So this is, there's definitely that, like, uh, I almost want to say it's like a chocolate chip. Banana. See, I'm not. I don't get. I, get that I don't like know. Cocoa. I don't get. I don't really get the cocoa or the chocolate, but I get all the rest of it for sure. Yeah, let's see. So this will be the same thing. It'll be eighty nine ninety nine. It'll be down to seventy nine ninety nine in the feature tomorrow. Um, I don't understand how those are the two same. Like even the same producers. Wow, there is so much more. Um, Everything. There's just so much more of everything. It's explosive. It's wild. I feel wild. Like the brandy has t like the, yeah. It, it almost. It's almost. So I don't want to call it a brandy, but it, it, there's such more of a brandy component to this. It's yes. not like a standard. But I think the rum. The rum like, also hey. really, really brings in a massive but, component I, yeah. in the middle, um, which gives that sweetness. Those tropical fruits. That sort of thing really kind of kind of comes out in this. That's amazing. It's how wild stuff. Yeah. Different. These two. Mm. Bourbons so uh, we really, we really do encourage everybody to to at least get a taste of this. Yeah, it's it's you need to experience it. Uh, you need to check it out. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty, pretty crazy yeah. stuff. Uh, but if you're looking for very traditional, you know, high end, well made bourbon, um, the Bash Twenty Nine is is dynamite. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, well, great. I don't know. We're getting notes. To our, do our, so uh, yes, exactly. So our, our director, <laughs> our director here. So we've, we've we've decided to add a tiny bit of scripting to our uh, to our to, to our to our videos just to stay on track. Would it be scripting or is it just providing better info to our audience? No, no. Well, <laughs> yes, we're going to provide lots of we're providing lots of really good information. So, anyways, next week we are actually going to be filming on location somewhere, not in the building. So we're taking the That's studio awesome. on the road and we're going to be doing something really exciting for you guys next week. You don't want to tell them. Yeah, so we're going to be going to Buttonwoods Brewery, who actually has all the RBB barrels, and we're going to be helping blend the final yeah. version of the first well, RBB stout. Our first barrel, which was a Widow Jane. Widow Jane. Which is probably somewhere back here. At least yep. I hope. There it is. Yep. yep. So that, this is the Widow Jane uh, Lucky 13. Uh, Buttonwoods has been aging stout in it for a Since, good six plus months at this yeah. point. Uh, and we're going to be heading over to do a quick uh, taste and kind of final blending, and, and, blending. And, and put it together. So that's, that's a really be, exciting thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Going on well, a field trip. We're going uh, on a field, field trip. trip. Absolutely. That's right. It's um, on a big yellow bus. Road, well, hopefully not a big yellow bus. But <laughs> it's just, been a long time uh, since our, I've been on a big yellow bus. One of bus. our cars will be taking us yeah. all the way down to Cranston to Buttonwoods. Absolutely. And, uh, check uh, us Morgan, out. Morgan makes great beer, so we're really excited by that. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. cool. Well, hey guys, thanks so much. Right. We really appreciate it. Again, uh, hit subscribe. Subscribe, definitely, fun. please. We appreciate and, that. Uh, can't wait to next time. All right, thanks. thanks.